Okay. Start again. Got our equipment as good as we can get it. Espers, what do we need to learn with her? Metal I don't need for that. Doom. Stop the spell bolt too, I need bolt too. Okay. Surprised I didn't pick that up before. Okay. Normally you completely ignore Albrook, but uh, since we're doing it this way, it's good to check out what things they might have for us, which is not very much. Uh, I'm going to have a few throwers, so maybe some more fire skins. He's going to make big use of those in the upcoming. There's a... Definitely where I'm going to have to do a lot more grinding and stuff. Okay, Rune Edge, Flame Saver, Darts. I may come back here for darts later, depending on what my characters can use. It's always hard to tell when uh, you aren't really sure what equipment you have that everybody can use. Berets, I have a lot of already. Gold shield, I have a couple of. Mystery veils, I have a lot of. And gold helmets, I have a couple of. A couple people can use those, but not what I'm interested in. I'm probably going to have to go on a big shopping trip after I gather up all my characters in order to see uh, what equipment I can use that's better. I can get another earring. I have a lot of money too. Maybe it's worth it too. I already have plenty of sprint shoes. Alice armlet, barrier ring. Earrings are better for that. That's the only really good thing here though. Okay. Well, that's it for Albrecht. Nothing really great for me. Okay. Yay, one step. Gaining experience. These guys don't give great experience, but gaining experience is uh, still... Let's see what it takes. That's a little bit better than the fire dance. I'm going to rely on... She is in the back row. Okay. I'm going to be... Uh, Gonna go ahead and give her white dress so that I can do a bit more damage. Yeah, I'm relying on magic, so I'll give her speed and increase magical power with that. Still good to get as much XP as possible because, uh, again, I'm effectively getting it for 14 characters at this point. Not just her, but it's only being divided amongst one. That's going to change real quick, though. One of the interesting things about uh, this place, though, is that I can... When you arrive, the Light of Kefka hits, and Sabin's up there holding up the building. Getting ready to suplex it, I guess. Uh, again, not particularly impressive weapons, not a big surprise. Odds of anything really good being in these shops is pretty low, but you never know. It's worth a look. Guy gear, I have one of. Mystery Veil, again, I have lots of. Bard hats. It's about the only hat she can wear. But uh, even though the Light of Judgment struck this town and everybody's running around panicked, I can actually go to the shops and buy anything I want. Might buy some of those. See. Oh, wait, Trump? Oh, wow. Um, a lot of people can use Trump, including those three. I'll buy two of them. And... A bunch of those. Probably need to look into selling stuff, but I'll wait a little while. Probably nothing much good here. Hawkeye. It's not all that good anyway. Okay. That's it. So yeah, you can go to all these shops and everything before talking to Sabin. You can even have an uninterrupted night of sleep in the inn while he's holding up this mountain. See? How awesome is that? You get a free heal. <laughs> okay, now... Uh, normally, you'd want to avoid most of the... Uh, you'd 
you'd want to avoid all the battles in here because, uh... Hmm. You want to avoid most of the chests in here because they have monster boxes, but most of the ones here actually, uh... Are gonna have other random stuff, which could be really good. Probably should have just run away. Oh well. But uh, there are all sorts of monsters. Only a couple chests that are good, but since everything is randomized, most of these probably wanted monsters. That on my way out. Nice. <laughs> Let's use this. Should have gone up the other side. Ah, darn. That's right. So we need this thing stone. So I'm back here again. I really didn't buy much in there, did I? Nope, I'm just gonna head north then. Yay, let's we'll start. That's one of the reasons why, uh, in speedruns especially, they like to wait until they pick up Mog with the Mughal Charm to get him, but since we don't have Mog with the Mughal Charm, that kind of doesn't do much for us. Although now I'm gonna, let's see, how many smoke bombs do I have? Two, do I have any warp stones? Three. Uh, I'd like to save some of those, but I can use them to avoid the fights. Should be enough. I actually have plenty of other weapons actually to equip. Didn't even really find anything in here, did I? Nope. I bought more earrings in that other town, but I can worry about this time. No, that isn't where I want to go. I want to go ahead and get my free heal. So the innkeepers are capable of just healing us for free. Why do they charge us for rooms? Looks like the same lady with the same ability as so it's actually in Vector, although I think that's the look at the same. Those are always hard to tell if they're women or men. Okay, in here. Grab this just real quick. Garnering. Pass through here. Grab the diamond armor. Grab this chest for Blizzard. So I'll blow up nothing else. Um, what bomb? Okay. Now the proper way to do this is run here and grab this chest for dice. You come up here, grab this, chuck a suit, grab the kid. Grab some ooh nice earrings. Bookends. Almost misstepped there. Come on up here, grab this. Elixir. Jewelry. And out! Okay, so we can use the trump, gray tabby suit, 
Can't use the chocobo suit though, huh? That's too bad. That'd give him a lot of speed. Okay, let's give him running shoes and earrings. Let's give her earrings. Now that we're not running away, let's give her white dress. She can use that too for really high armor, but stats are better on these other things. Stats. She has some magic power. one I should have on. You never got ice too? We'll give it to you then. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some uh, on the way grinding. I'm not going to specifically be seeking out battles, but I'm gonna take a long, few long walks and kill everything I can just to get these guys as much experience and abilities as possible. <laughs> yeah, instant death. I'm gonna have to change weapons when I get to uh, Daryl's tomb, though. It's one of the interesting things about uh, this game and how it works. Uh, Ren is randomized, and you're not uh, just doing whatever you like. He still doesn't have any of that, huh? I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty pathetic. But uh, you have to be a lot more. Jeez, careful. Since they eliminated pretty much every source of uh, easy going through the game, there's a lot of stuff you have to watch out for that normally wouldn't be too much of a problem. Like that house. There are a couple of ways you have to avoid those problems when you're in a normal game. You'd have a ribbon at least by now if you're playing them casually, or you just go and get, uh, you just go and get, uh, Mog first and then come back and get him if you're speedrunning. So you can avoid being stoned with your only party member. You can get your stats boosted up with Esper's. But, uh, on this, yeah, just have to use whatever you're getting and try your, giving and try your best with it. Daryl's tomb will be uh, interesting because I have these powerful trumps right now. Supposed to, though they look like darts, I think they're supposed to be trump cards. No relation to Donald Trump, fortunately. They cause instant death. The uh, problem with instant death in this game is that it's one of the things that they didn't bother to fix in the randomizer, a minor bug that, uh, that uh, they probably didn't think of as much of a bug because it doesn't affect whatever, however they play much. But uh, if you have a ability that can cause an item that can cause instant death, then and you use it on an undead, it will actually uh, instantly kill them, and then they just automatically respawn. So it shows the animation that little X through them usually. It shows them instantly dying, and then they immediately uh, just phase back into existence. And the worst part is, is that that doesn't even count as a death in any way so you don't get like extra experience for it or anything no they, they don't let you do anything like that they uh, require you to mm, that's nice I'll have to remember that ice works well on the delta bugs so you just have to do with the witch again so because of that since I have two trumps if I go trying to uh
I've been getting these trumps, which is nice, but I can't use them uh, in Daryl's tomb because the monsters will just be killed and then respawn. Very, very annoying. So, uh, I made this long trek out to Mobiliz because I'll have to come here eventually. And uh, now is actually a really nice time too because Fumbaba at this stage is quite weak. I can grab uh, Fumbaba. And defeating him at this stage gives me Fenrir, which is really powerful. And then I can come back later when I've got the airship to pick up Terra. Mm, I don't think there's any items to grab down here, unfortunately. So now we see the cutscene, crazy cutscene, where Terra sacrificed, well, the parents sacrificed themselves rather stupidly, it would appear, to save the children. Okay, uh, and if you remember this from my speedrun, you can't kill him, so it's easier to kill yourself. Uh, he's too joined. I don't know if in a normal game it's possible to vanish Doom from battle, but it's still quicker to kill you. We're just gonna go offense and defense here, since I don't have any good attack spells with him yet. This will take a little while, but uh... Boom. You can hit me a little bit, but this will at least be pretty safe. It's kind of amusing, actually. These two have each other's abilities. I'd never even thought of that until now. One or two more hits should do it. There we go. Jeez. Okay, so that's it. She's not going to fight with us because obviously she's lost her fighting edge. But we scared Fumbaba away and got Fenrir. Although the late Blowfish, or 1000 Needles as it's later called, uh, was a nasty surprise. Okay. She is still dead, so we need to Phoenix Downer. He got fully restored so while well, he was absorbing stuff with the uh, runic, so he was right there. Let's use that on her. Okay. What does Fenrir have for us? Fire 3 and haste. Uh, yes, I am actually not surprised by that. Fire 3 didn't have any of it anywhere, and now all of a sudden, uh, I didn't get fire 1 or fire 2 from anywhere, but now I get fire 3 from Fenrir. Yep, no surprise. Yeah, they're weak to fire. Even though they have an absurdly, absurdly high defense and magic defense, you can kill them pretty easily with fire. If you have anything that ignores defense as well, including if I had flash at this point. But I'm not sure who those tools. Won't have any attack spells. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, it works. Couldn't have done that on the first hit. Nah. I think we waste time suplexing it.
Yeah, I was only sucking it. Yeah. yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Nice too. Now you've learned dice too, you can deal easily with these guys. Only one magic point, but still I'd like to keep seeing Delta Bugs. You get magic points anywhere, but again, right now I'm getting seven experience levels per or seven characters worth of experience per person, essentially. Fourteen with divide amongst two people. So Sun death. It's almost like it uh, actually will critical hit if the character's health is under a certain amount or something. That could be how it works. I've never studied those instant deaths enough to know more about them than the fact that undead automatically revive themselves. Which is so annoying. Okay, didn't that time, so I guess it's maybe it's just a lower chance, a better chance against lower two individuals. Having fire tree would actually be really useful against. Uh, Then Dataluma. Also might be moderately helpful against uh the uh, tentacles. It'd be nice actually if I had Doom. I need to learn Doom with one of these two. I'm not gonna bother grinding for it though, I'm probably not gonna get it because of that. Oh wells. Dear friend dead. Ooh, three magic points, nice. Wonder if I should actually grind here a little bit. Okay, shoot. Oh yeah, he's learning it right now. Okay, that was fun. Nike, a uh, city I hate more than any other.
Elixir. Wow, that's actually surprising. That's actually what it's supposed to be. Phoenix Downs? No. Revivifies. Maybe we could get a couple more of those. Just in case. Start using them instead of my Phoenix Downs and Zombies. Should have enough in that case. Fire Knuckle, which never showed up. It's a 122, which is actually better than the Blizzard. How many people can use it? Jeez. Yet... I might pick up one for Setzer then. Oh wait, Sword Doker. Get a three of us auto-attacking with that then. Or two anyway. Time to start selling. Okay. Um, blizzards. I'm just gonna sell those. Rune edges, I can sell those, I know. Blitz in here. I'll keep one flame blade and thunder. Yeah. Gold lance is okay, actually. Tempest is a bit weak. Thunder rod is useless. Magical brush is okay. Where's the other brush? Where's my other brush? I need to sort through everything again. The names are now useless. Where am I? I need more print shoes than that. Kung Fu suit. Buckler is useless. Maybe they're useless. Good old rainbow brush. Stealth spear, little low. Dice. Do random, okay. Actually, I don't have much stuff. I'll buy another one of those, and we'll start there. Wow, Pro Rod. Not really all that good right now, though, since you can't break it. The cost is way too high. I found a Pro Rod early once. It was really nice, but... Dark Hood is actually really good. She still can't use any helms. I can't believe it. She can use a Diamond Shield, though. I can get... I'll get four Diamond Shields for those four. They're hard to come by. Guy Gear, I've got one of, and it's actually weaker than a lot of these, but... This hat is really good. Okay, fine, I'll buy three of them. That's all I'm gonna be able to afford for a while. Freaking NPCs of Nikea. Okay, I gotta tell these thieves. How they reach the storage room, we don't know, but. Oh, God! What a color change for Cloud. What is his name actually, Cloud? Okay, now I need to remember not to, uh, I've wasted a lot of time before not talking to him in South Figaro. At least in South Figaro still has the same fairly happy music. NPCs hate you. Okay, I don't think there's anything good here, but I'll check the two shops that are important. Falchion. Wow. That's actually a really good sword, too. Diamond shields, Mithril, Mithril, Oath Veil. Finally, a good helmet for her, and I need it. Um, diamond helms. Crystal mail. So gonna need to... I need to get a shield for him, definitely. If I can find one. 
Sword Breaker and Dark Hood is good. I can always use that while I've been low too. I'll probably just go ahead and full out auto attack mode for Daryl's tomb since I'll have a full squadron of four. He needs a... Uh, I might give him a Genji Glyph here in a minute, actually. Because he can't use any of these shields. Having a heavy shield is his best shield is pathetic. Gold Helmet's pretty useless overall. No stat bonus, there's too many people that can use better. Everything else is gonna be crappy by now. Seriously, no shields that he can equip. Actually, why don't I do that right now? Are there earrings? Let's give you a Genji Glove. Have you dual equip Sword Breakers? 81% physical evade. That's pretty insane. 43 bigger. That'll be good. So, therefore, his slower defense for not having a shield doesn't do bad because his. Physical evasion is so high. Okay, let's go. And see what specials we get from uh, Figaro Castle. It's got some neat stuff. I guess it's step manipulation. I, that's such a short walk, I never understand why anyone gets a chocobo just to ride that short distance. Okay, yeah, we're pretty good here. Whatever you say, Siegfried. So many people we could inspire. Yep, Swordbreaker. we go, Fire 3. Mmm, Madwin, you're trying to learn Bulk 2 as well. One of the many reasons why this trip is a lot easier if you do bother to pick up Sabin when you're playing casually or sometimes speedrunning. Ah, let it pass. Come on! There we go. Still quicker than when you do that normally though. I wonder if I did it right. Yep. Twenty-seven already. That's not bad. I'd really love to be thirty by the time that uh, I pick up another party member, but I'll take twenty-seven, even twenty-eight, maybe by the time we get there. Much happier that she did that than uh, especially before I used any blitzes. Oh, that bad.
Okay, Fran learned bolt two. Okay, good. You've almost learned that. Then I'll put you on fire three. Dark gear, power sash, useless stuff. Kind of one of the things that amazed me about this game is that enemies in the rear of crap don't, uh, don't, uh, take reduced damage from, uh, melee attacks. I guess it's better for me, but... I didn't even see what that was. What was that? Something I already had, obviously. I wasn't paying enough attention. I was looking at something else. Not impressed with the treasure so far. Here. That's bad. This usually has a couple of really good items. Okay, Zola and Bio, good. Oh, let's give you Fenrir. Eagle crown, no gravity rod, no nothing useful. Got to attack him instead. Yay, twenty eight. So Edgar will still be twenty seven. Okay. Hmm, I should have another running shoes, right? Good. Running shoes vital to this. You can also use an assassin, wonderfully. Hmm, I don't know that for even more magic power. Oathvale, I need to go back there and get an Oathvale. Or get an Oathvale from somewhere. I'll have that soon, though. Yeah, this is what I want. Although it doesn't really matter, I think, for this battle. Whoops. That's not a good start. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, actually. The one that I can boom is not to uh, uh, fire, it absorbs it. Oh well. Not a big deal. Because I can just dice two girls from death. He's never had magic because I've never bothered with him since he sex. Well, let's try Water Edge. Heals those too, that's wonderful. Okay, good to know. I don't usually have water for this point. Let's try Bolt Edge. One of them probably absorbs Bolt Edge, or maybe two of them. Ah, nice block. Yep, that one absorbs it. Better than both, though. Let's 
almost die already. Thank you. Okay. That'll be good for now. I'll have to take the trump off. Change that down a little bit because we're going to be running into it, guys. Now I'm just going to auto fight everything to death. We should be okay. Magus Rod. Oh, that's actually nice. Anybody can use Magus Rod? No? <laughs> you actually can. Oh, wow, that's plus seven magic, too. That's right. Mm -hmm. So we got 421. You can also use it. Should actually be pretty handy. Yeah, I think she has enough hit points now. We're at more weapon will be good. Okay, Cloud, you need shark. Yeah, you actually. Oh yeah, that's a super line, but that's uh, cure 2 times 12, we'll do that first for a bit. How you doing on Fenrir? Just started. Same with you on the Unicorn then. Oh, you're done with the Unicorn. I need to change you then. And so, magic. Uh, I might actually get the cutscene with the brothers here because I don't think I've ever done it before. Yep. Finally, the uh, ammo weapon is doing some damage. So now I can at least easily semi grind, semi easily grind. Okay, so level 27 is going to be the starting point, unless I gain a couple levels from our... Yep, this only happens if you haven't had the cutscene with the pair. And that cutscene happens after you rest. Should show it's over. Jeez, it's been ten years. So much has changed, he says. Oh, they find his I, I forgot that you can No, you're wrong, this can't be. You find out that his father just died, which he kinda saw a little bit about. Matron the king, he's see a little bit about that in the lead up to Savin. So naming Savin. Sal, Sal. And this is the coin that they talk about in uh, the Setzer scene as well. My father, I don't believe this. brother. Uh. So they went and told you. Early on it seems like Edgar, they're supposed to be twins, but Edgar seems to be more mature than Seven. Cloud, here you are. Your father, he just uttered his last wish that Figaro be divided between you. This is nonsense. Everyone's saying that the Empire poisoned Dad and the only thing on your minds is who's going to be the next king? You're all pathetic. No one cared when Mom passed away either. That's not... You were as bad as any of them. So... Empire of Murderers. They won't get away with this. Matron, please leave us. Despite the fact that he's the also the lech, yeah, it, it always seemed to be more uh, mature one. Zell just wants to get away, have his freedom. What will happen to Strom if we both leave? What would Dad say? So let's settle this with the toss of a coin. They kind of mistranslate this line a bit. If it's heads, you win. We'll choose whichever path we want without any regrets, okay? Though it's kind of right. 
but basically he says that he can go on his own if it's heads otherwise if it was going to be tails they would stay and listen to dad's wishes and divide the kingdom of course it's that coin it's a coin with identical sides so Edgar did it on purpose then you opted for your freedom so that his brother could escape and have an excuse to do so it's been ten years the little shrimp's grown into a whopping lobster you're a king crab rather interesting about Japanese I didn't learn until years after playing this game that uh, you know, twins in Japan actually talk about big brother little brother and big sister little sister quite a bit and that's a big deal to them even though it isn't really so much from what I've seen of twins in the real world I'm not a twin so I don't know if it's you know if some of you are twins out there and it is a big deal between which of you actually came first but it's a huge deal in Japan Well, I'm going to figure out. So it actually makes sense for him to call him, since they don't have a generic word for brother either, it makes sense for him to call him Big Brother, even though he's just the younger twin. But as the younger twin, he did act a lot uh, more bratty in the beginning, but his days of training under Duncan and Melodin, which you kind of expect. Um, let me put Cloud in the lead here, because he... Because I want to get cheap stuff. Cheap tinctures, if I'd waited for that. <laughs> Flash Blizzard, Sleeping Bag, Warp Stone. So I can run away from battles if I really want. Flash Debilitator Drill actually has the same three ones. Okay. These things are hardly worth fighting, really, but they also die really, really easily to my crazy combat crew. Hmm, now I have to go with Fire Knuckle because Trump is bad. Yes, we all know Trump is bad. Her har, her har, no Ganji glove. Probably better that way. Do you have any? You have dance, yep, dance, dance, dance. Okay, let's see what items we can get to improve ourselves. Hopefully Daryl's Tomb will have some good stuff. More Sword Breaker, Partisan. Um, more Sword Breaker. Yeah, I need a more powerful one. There, it'll actually do a lot more damage with that. Do the Tau Robe. It's low for him, but it's an improvement for him. Light robe. Nobody can really use it yet. Oath veil. I really need to pick up these oath veils. So many sword breakers available. I really want a tower robe. I really need oath veils. They have good stats in addition to... I think they raise magic at least. Nope, they don't. Okay, just armor, but... Oh, it's so bad. Dark air raises speed by a lot. That diamond armor, that's why we've got such high defense, right? Power up's got a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Visual knife, don't need. Magical brush, you finally have run your usefulness. Guardian, flame saber, yeah, you're way too low. Gold lance, I can always purchase better now. Heavy shield, I need to keep it as much as I want to. Cards, 
fire knuckle. I wasted money buying it as usual. So like four berets. I'll we'll get rid of you. I've got better. I can be getting power stash. Isn't really all that great. Check those suits. I can't do much with. I just want to keep those. Garden, camera, and fix night cross. Those are kind of neat, but I'd rather have the money to buy this stuff. Okay. Okay. I'll be the best I can get for a while. Both veils are normally like female only. Okay, tower robe. It is going to lower his speeds down if it raises his magic even more. <laughs> as well as having a powerful magic evade and stuff. Before there was, it was really awesome with its plus two magic evade since magic evade was everything, but since they fixed that with the randomizer, it's not so great. Um, and just few basic things. Okay. That many is going to be rather important later on. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end here and move on to the next one.